how to get hot under the collar to supersize and grow your business. Sharon horn Elstrom here, and our idiom today is hot under the collar. And although this idiom or expression has only been popular since the 1800s, for centuries people have known that when people get upset about something, because hot under the collar means to be upset or very angry about something. When people get that way, when they're starting to feel that way, they tend to get red in the face, red in the neck. Alarms going off everywhere. Um, hot under the collar. Alarms going off during videos. That gets me hot under the collar. So, they, and they tend to feel heat in the back of their neck. I don't know about you, but when I'm upset and really worked up about something, it definitely shows in my face, in my expressions, in my body, and in my coloring. I don't turn, uh, maybe I turn bright red. I don't know. I haven't been super upset for a long time. I'll have to ask my kids. We've been watching a documentary about vaccinations and it's a, it's a series and it's really, really interesting. But a whole lot of the information in it gets me hot under the collar and makes me feel uh, bad that I just went along with what my, my pediatrician said and vaccinated my kids with all these vaccinations that I believe have in some way, shape, and form caused them some some harm. And it, it kind of doesn't kind of, it absolutely positively pees me off and gets me hot under the collar. Anything that um, we feel upset about or that is an injustice, that's unfair, that's not right, that's just plain wrong or abuse, abuse of power, abuse of position, abuse in any way, shape or form gets me hot under the collar. Controlling other people, bullying other people, manipulating, misinforming them, cheating, lying, stealing, being greedy, being unethical, all of the above gets me hot under the collar. It's different for each and every one of us. Actually, competition kind of bothers me and gets me hot under the collar because competition to me comes from a position of lack and scarcity, thinking that there's not enough to go around in the world for everybody. So I have to compete really strongly against somebody else so that I get my piece of the pie and they get a smaller piece of the pie. What we forget about is that the pie is unlimited. The pie is infinite. There's always going to be more pie. So what gets you hot under the collar and how can you use that to supersize and grow your business? Well, a lot of times we start our businesses to solve problems that get us hot under the collar, to, to change things and to change issues and to change things or solve problems for people that have once bothered us as well. So let people know what you stand for. The first thing that you can do to use this in your business in your favor in to build your business and grow your business is to let people know what you stand for. Now, I contend as a smart businesswoman that you need to, to pay attention to what you share with people and what you stand for. It's just like a television show or a commercial. You don't show everything. If, if you ever read a good book, you're reading a book, they don't share everything in the book and the story. They only share the pieces that are important. I think the same is true of, of how we need to present the things that we stand for in our business as well. If it's not pertinent to what you're doing as a business owner and in your business and the and the mission and purpose of your business, it, it's ineffective and it's just extra information that, that doesn't need to and shouldn't be shared. I had a rule and a guideline and a principle and a belief in my Italian food manufacturing business that we never talked about politics or religion. Why? Because every one of us had different feelings and beliefs about politics and religion. And our beliefs were our beliefs and we're each entitled to those. And every time it came up, somebody's feelings got hurt. And then we never wanted to have that in our environment. So we just agreed to not discuss those two things at work. It wasn't the place we could discuss them. We could go out and have drinks after work and talk about it all we wanted. But in the work environment, in our place of manufacturing, we wanted to put love in our Italian food. We didn't want to put discourse or disagreement or somebody with hurt feelings producing our products and services. So that's an example of what I wouldn't share with people with respect to my business. Now, personally, I'll talk to people all day long about my opinions about things, but I don't expect them to adopt my opinions or believe what I believe. I just, I, if somebody asks me what I think and how I feel about something, I will share that honestly and say, hey, it's just my opinion. I, I've come up with that this set of beliefs based on my experiences so far in my life doesn't mean they're not going to change. It's just this is what they are right now. So share what you feel and, and then share what you stand for and share what you stand against with respect to the business you're in. Uh, if you've got questions about that, hit me up in the comments below. I might not be being 100% clear on that, but make sure it's appropriate to your business. Uh, so then 
once you people know what you stand for that and that's a great filter right it's a great filter to attract the people you want to work with in your business people like us we like to work with people like us right we like to work with people that have the same values the same beliefs the same uh, feelings about certain subjects as we do you can attract those people and then repel the people that you don't want to work with that you absolutely positively get hot under the collar because they make you crazy because they're your your least favorite customers to have and then be a champion for that cause or that those things for your people if you solve a particular problem I think of things like uh, people that work with people that have been in bad relationships you be a champion them for your customers then to help them to to get what they want right that's don't we all want to help our customers get what they want of course we do so we become a champion and fight against or rally with them or join forces with them against the things that we fight against and for the things that we fight for uh, in all of this it's important to be consistent and to be congruent and to <coughs> to be kind I know people don't talk about kindness in business very often but I think that especially during COVID, a time where I would have expected people to be kinder to one another and more caring about one another. What I'm seeing in, a, in some situations is that people are being less kind, more, more uh, closed in and more cut off from other people. And I think that we need to be more open and more honest and more kind with people in order to alleviate any feelings of anger or fear or um, uncertainty as we go forward in the future. So. How do you use how to know the collar to supersize and grow your business? Let people know what you stand for. Let people know what you stand against. Use that as a filter to attract the people you want to work with and repel those you don't want. And then when you attract the people you want to work with, be a champion for them and help them solve problems and create the life that they want with respect to the things that you stand for and stand against. That's it. Have an awesome day. Any questions? Hit me up in the comments below. Let's all be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where the heck does it come from? And how might you use it in your life right now? Take care in your business right now.